was this incredible weight on top of me. I couldn't move, I was paralyzed. Like for a force to be able to do that, like it's gotta be pretty strong. If the devil knocks, don't answer the door. Basically, if, if you don't embrace technology in one way or another, then at some point you'll be crushed by it. Airbrush, you can just achieve something a lot faster, and it's cool because airbrush, you, you, you can tackle so many different varieties of, of art, you know, from abstract to photorealism to even doing cartoon stuff. I mean, it's, it's limitless. Airbrush can almost do anything paint-wise. I don't know if it's only me or if it happens to every cancer patient. Sometimes I feel like this life isn't real. Like, it's just so hard to explain. Like, I know my parents say they get me, but they don't. I know they don't get me, but I feel like this is all an illusion. I don't know, it's just, I don't know if, if it's because the fact that I have cancer, I start thinking like this, not to feel pain or what, but it's just, I don't feel like this is real. This is what it had to happen to me to learn something in part of life, and it's just that I will get through this, but I just have to learn something. I just don't know what it is. I don't know. But I just let life take its course. Just enjoying each day that you have, you know? Because you're not guaranteed to have tomorrow. It doesn't matter if you have cancer or not. You're, not, you're still not guaranteed. Live life personally, no matter, no matter what happens. When I had that particular seizure, my wife saw me going into that seizure and she put her arms around me from behind and pulled both of us down onto a couch. And the seizure was so intense that the muscle popped the end of this bone off. The hardest part for me is, is feeling basically that nobody cares. So if you put mercury amalgams in the mouth, you're just causing massive amounts of damage in the body. And the government, the FDA, the Dental Association, they're supposed to be there to protect us. There's more evidence than you can shake a stick at to show that this stuff is harmful. The person who, who would make a decision to get rid of mercury amalgams from the marketplace would be the FDA commissioner. The FDA commissioner has exclusive power to make that decision. I mean, this was a commissioner who was uh, uh, sending emails back and forth to her former uh, company uh, all through the period of the amalgam rule. Commissioner Homburg was on the board of Henry Schein Inc., which is the largest seller of amalgam in the world. I mean, our, our government health agencies have just shoved science out the back door in favor of politics. We're not becoming older, we're becoming poisoned. Say the M word, it's mercury.